One of the funny things I enjoy about what I do is when I literally have expressions that turn into realities. So when something becomes a um, sheer poetry of justice or sheer poetry of contradiction, it just presents itself. And all I have to do is just spotlight it, post it, let the world to see. One of the funny things I've seen was um, when I finally got cognitive to speak to do this, I saw something. And I saw an analogy to come with it. And I never thought I would see this analogy before. A few of them, actually. Anton LaVey on the Church of Satan would say how you know he would go against these little clubs like the Moose Lodge and whatnot, people with the, the little hats and what have you. And the Church of Satan has become that. And, you know, and it's like you're trying to fit a puzzle, but you don't have the right pieces. So I found an analogy I thought that was very strange, very weird, but very close to what we're seeing today. I saw this in the Discovery Channel. There was two churches, Christianity and uh, it was, I think, the Church of Christ. And they literally had a war. And the Church of Christ lost, and Christianity prevailed. This is part of history that not many people are studious about. Not even myself to a point, but when you saw it, it kind of made more sense. The loser, of course, lost, and the winner wrote the history. Mind these words. So now when the loser decided to be subversive. They went off into the hills and buried their text in caves. We know it today as the Dead Sea Scrolls, or Gnosticism, where the names are the same, the story is completely different. How does this compare to Church of Satan? But Anton LaVey was the Church of Satan. He even had his two daughters as high priestesses. His, his uh, son-in-law was also a big part of the church as well. When Anton LaVey died, there was a feud for four years between Blanche Barton and everybody else. Good reference point of all people, Bob Larson. Why? He had a relationship with the Church of Satan. Now let's go today. We see the Church of Satan, but are they seen as such by the old guard? Boyd Rice says, people today who call themselves the Church of Satan. Even Boyd Rice, who was the first high priest of the Church of Satan after Anton LaVey, proclaimed it to be shut down. Now what? Church of Satan references the codification of Satanism by Anton LaVey. But yet, you bring Anton LaVey up for a counterpoint to video, because the Church of Satan does not own their history, and then they backpedal. They, add, they give you ad hominems because they want to make sure you're distracted. All in all, they are truly a church on their own, by name only, by tradition, by everything else not one bit the funny part is if you're going to use the satanic bible as the only form of text they're going to be outdated Anton LaVey made a big thing about the Knights Templar for a good example history doesn't change it's how we interpret the history that does Knights Templar's story has completely changed from LaVey's particular but if you're a traditionalist or a Church of Satan member today, you would hold on to it as gospel, meaning you have not evolved ideologically. So with this said, you turn around and you look at the story of Church of Christ and Christianity, look at the story of the Church of Satan. When LaVey died and there was a four-year recess, I was there. I went off and subscribed to everything possible. And yes, a letter from Blanche Barton telling the world we're still doing things 
because she was trying to run it while she was fighting, I believe, Stanton LeVay, Zena LeVay, and Carla LeVay. By the way, it's also public record. And yes, you can find it on the web. So with all this said and done, when you see contradiction, it's awful difficult for me not to sit there and point it out. Not to mention the hypocrisy and everything else in between. That's why when I became more cognitive, I had to find a way to voice my observations. Today we have Church of Satan members going off and doing live streams, publicly announcing how they're trying to manipulate people who do live streams. And if they can't reach out to the, the host of the live stream, he'll try to influence the audience. This is why from time to time and periodically when I did my live streams, I'd shut off the, uh, the chat because I knew that kind of fuckery would happen. And it did. I would see people who I recognize from other previous streams having fights with people on the, on the comment section. So I had to go off and model myself after Rush Limbaugh. Meaning, if I'm a monologuist, you hear a counterpoint, you can't argue with me, and all you can do is either prove me wrong with facts or just have a different point of view. This is what's called controlling the narrative. And the Church of Satan doesn't want you to have a narrative. The Church of Satan is looking for supplicants. They are looking for people who just are yes sirs and no sirs. If that's what you are as a Satanist, you might want to reconsider your title. So with all this said and done, this is where I've come with in the last few years doing this. Is it worth my time? No. I tell you why I'm here. I had an accident, I have traumatic brain injury, and I exercise my brain because the two strongest things in my mind at this point, point in time is technology and my religion. People who dictate religion, dictate you what religion is or what type of religion you are or are not, only have value if you give it to them. Some people need to be told this because they themselves are still seeking their own inner peace, their own inner knowledge, and their own way. Sometimes a counterpoint, no matter who it is, is worth at least to sit down and listen to. If you agree with them, great. If you don't agree with them, that's fine too. And if you hear them out just enough where you understand where they're coming from, to either partake or to avoid. There you go. And that's the point in my time in my life that I realized the Church of Satan died with Anton LaVey. Am I wrong in thinking this? In my point of view, absolutely not. Other people's point of view, I don't care. Equally, you should not value other people's opinion unless you truly value their opinion. Meaning, don't be influenced by outside people. Do your own research. Put in your own effort. And by all means, be a Satanist. And hail Satan. And find your way.